Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is June the 7th, 2022, and we're going to do something here that I've never done before. We're going to be releasing live ladybugs into the greenhouses to uh, help us with some of the issues that we're dealing with. Um, we're tired of spraying, and we're tired of sprays not working. So uh, we're dealing with uh, some thrips. You can see this here is uh, the bed house here. And, and you can see down here, that's thrip damage there. So we're dealing with some thrips. Uh, we're dealing with some white flies. Um, in the second greenhouse, we have some white flies, uh, some aphids, and some spider mites. Now the spider mites, uh, we did take care of those with spray. But um, there could be a possibility that... There's uh, some that, you know, we didn't get them all. So what I did was because a few things in that one were sprayed. Before my ladybugs got here, I was spraying the foliage down with water to wash anything off so that the ladybugs wouldn't get hurt. So uh, one of the recommendations was, was to spray your foliage down before you release them. And we went ahead and we sprayed the foliage down in all of the greenhouses. The soil was nice and moist because your ladybugs like a good drink. And um, it's best to release these ladybugs at dusk or dawn or cloudy days are perfect all day. And now uh, you want to release these at the base of the plant. Now they have a, um, a good bug uh, diet special spray that you can buy. I didn't buy that. I didn't even honestly see that. So um, what we're also going to be doing, I bought two packs of them, and it's 1,500 approximately in each pack. So we're going to be creating a ladybug farm then, and we're going to be putting them in an aquarium, which I'll do a video on that. The aquarium needs cleaned up. So until that time, we're probably going to be storing them in the refrigerator. At uh, They can store them between 34 to 45 degrees and they can hold up for up to two weeks. I think that's that's good. I think I can get enough of them out from there. May I have it please then? Thank you. I don't know. I think maybe you should cut a little bit more. These here. So here they come. Now they want you to put them down at the base of the plant. And this is a little bit uh, difficult here. They're kind of crawling all over the bag here. This dude's on my scissors. Now try and put him on a plant. <sighs> Can I put him on a leaf? Yeah, they're crawling on me too. <laughs> so this is interesting here trying to release these. Nice on me. And I'm going to kind of separate these here for where I'm putting them out at here. <coughs> there you go. He's on a leaf. Is that okay? That's fine. <coughs> there you go. You can see they're crawling up my arm here. <coughs> if we can get some to go down to the ground there. Okay. They're not going where I would like them to go. Okay. So I'm moving them to some different spots here. And I'm letting them out here at the base of the plants. I'm trying to. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> so I have a lot of them here on me and they're kind of crawling all over the pack. 
There we go. We got him over. He wants to go on me. Let's see here. See if we can get him to go on the leaf here. There we go. So you can see there's a bunch of them on the pack here, and they're on my hands. It brings them over to this side over here. Ugh. Get them at the base of the plants here. There we go. They're starting to go to the base there. Okay, so I released a bunch of these in here. You can see they're crawling all over the place. They're on the plants. And they're crawling around. So they're going to be looking for food here. And you can see there's some down there on uh, the soaker hose. So they're actually getting a drink of water here. I have a, some water on my hand from the plants. And they're getting a drink from uh, my hand there. Okay. So uh, we're over here in the second greenhouse and you can see all the plants in here. We we're having some problems with the aphids and the spider mites and white flies in here. There you go. So I'm trying to uh, get some of these here. You can see they're crawling on my hand. They are biting me, which I'm not too crazy about that. But uh, Oh my goodness. Oh, this dude doing a piece of sticky paper. Oh no, one flew somewhere. <laughs> can they go on the rose? Yeah, yeah, they can go on the roses. If I can get any the sticky stuff. So I was finding some aphids on these straw flowers here. I'm just kind of releasing some here at the base. Of the plant here. And we're getting the white flies on these, so we're trying to get them off of here. So I'm trying to uh, get some of these to go on the lettuce because we were having some issues with some aphids on the lettuce. Yeah. And Let's see here, come on. Okay, this I come on, go on the leaves. Come on, please go on the leaf. So your ladybugs like to crawl up, so that's why they tell you to release them at the base of the plant, but it's not that easy because they're kind of just crawling everywhere. So you can see this right here is thrips damage here, and they went after the yarrow, so we're putting some on these here. They're crawling around all over the place in here. They're on the floor. They're on the water hose. Okay, so this is the uh, old greenhouse here, and the rest of these are going in here. You can see the, what the white flies did to this tomato plant here. They've just completely covered it and devastated it. And you can see what the thrips did to my chrysanthemums and to my yarrow here. And we tried spraying these things so many times. It was crazy and it just didn't work. You can see here's a ladybug here crawling on the tomato plant there. And there's plenty of food for them to find. What? And these here are more chrysanthemums. The reason why they look the way that they do is because of what the thrips did and how badly the thrips have damaged the foliage.
You can see them crawling around here on the plants. See over, whoops, over here you can see them. And there's plenty of food in here. And you can see their bedding there like that they put in with them. And it looks like they, I don't know, they maybe had some food in there with them, I'm not sure. Yeah, they tried to tell you to release them at the base, but I couldn't get them to go off that easily. Here, I'll put this one here down. Here, we'll let them crawl off of this and go up this straw flower stalk here. See, there's a bunch of them here. And you can see the white flies here on... The straw flower leaf there. So we're trying to get them off the floor here because we don't want to step on them. Yeah, that one has a few of them in. This one over here needs some. There we go. They're in the bottom down there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of it. Yeah, they do. When you let them go at the base, they, they like to climb, so they work their way up to the top. So that's why they tell you to let them release them at the base, but sometimes when they're crawling all over the bag, it's not that easy to do. <laughs> so there's a... Uh, the white flies are trying to go after my marigolds here, and the thrips are, so I want to try and get this issue under control as quickly as I can. I lost a lot of seedlings due to these. And it was just a mess. I had the ants eating seeds earlier this year, and then we had slugs. And you can see they just, the thrips just devastated my winged everlasting's crop. And I honestly, I don't know where the thrips even came from, or the white flies. Yeah, we need some for the other side. Oops. If one flips over, just go ahead and flip it back over to the right, the way that it's supposed to be. There we go. So there's plenty of food. You can see that that's all thrip damage there. Last one. <laughs> I don't want to leave. I'm happy home. And you can see where they're crawling around here now. We didn't find any dead ones in the pack, which is a really good thing. So, um, hopefully, they'll be able to take care of this. Um, it's a pretty big infestation, and it's pretty bad. So, it is going to take them some time to clean these off. And uh, they're going to search, and they're going to hunt for food. You might not always see them all the time, but they're going to be, you know, in here just searching around and hunting for their food here. So um, we're holding the other bag right now and uh, we're going to kind of be releasing them over a uh, few weeks here so that uh, you know we keep having a fresh supply of them or if we see you know we need more in one greenhouse then uh, we'll be putting and releasing more of them in. And we'll do a video when we do the ladybug thing. Uh, we just have to get the aquarium cleaned out. This plant here is full of white flies and they're finding themselves a meal on there. And these chrysanthemum flowers here are fever few flowers. They're in the same family. This will provide them with nectar. And it's also going to, you know, help them with uh, 
some food. You can see they're crawling around on here. So that was uh, part of the ladybug release. See, they're just crawling all over the place here. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll try to put a new video on. Also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and hope you have a nice day. Bye!